Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today is Sunday, March 21st, and we're going to check in for the March listing challenge. If you're not doing the listing challenge with us yet, you can jump in right where you are. You don't have to have been participating from the beginning. Anyone can jump in at any time. What is the listing challenge? Basically, you're going to pick a goal and you're going to try to achieve the goal. It's that simple. You can check in daily, weekly, monthly, more than once a day, as often as you need to, want to, or would like to. We have a check-in thread in our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. You can search for it on Facebook or use the link down below to find the or to find the group. Um, you can use the link down below. Just click on it, join the group. The group is free to join, and then you go to the announcement section, and you'll find March listing challenge thread, and you can use that to check in. I have been doing uh, once a week videos to check in on. You can check in using the comments here. You can check in on both places or just one or the other, Facebook or YouTube. Uh, it's really just a personal choice where you check in and how often you check in and how much you need to hold yourself accountable. Some people need to check in every day just to remind themselves and everyone else, hey, here's what I did today. And some people can say at the beginning of March, these are my weekly goals and check in once a week. Some people need to do it every day or a couple times a day. And whatever it is, is right. Whatever you need to do or whatever you want to do is correct because there's no right way or wrong way to do this. And that's what the listing challenge is. You're just basically picking goals, announcing them to the world so that you're accountable because you can't be private about it. If you don't tell somebody you're not being accountable or no one's holding you accountable because if you don't tell somebody, it's not real. And then once you tell the world your goals, you write them down somewhere keep track of them and whether or not you're reaching them. And then you tell somebody here or in the Facebook group. And then you also um, cheer other people on and or lift them up if they don't reach their goals. That's it. The only other thing I have people doing, uh, we started this a couple weeks ago, is keeping track of why you're not reaching them when you're not reaching them. Because there's two reasons why we don't reach our goals. One reason is things that are out of our control, and the other reason is because you're fiddle farting around and wasting time. And if the reasons you're not reaching your goals are out of your control, situations or responsibilities that we can't control, then you need to adjust your goals because you're never going to reach them. If things in your life are happening and you can't change those things, you're never going to reach your goals. And you need to adjust them. But if you're laying around watching Netflix all day and eating potato chips, <laughs> clearly that's something within your control you can change. And that needs to stop and you need to work. So pick a goal, write it down, tell all of us what you're doing, hold yourself accountable, keep track, write it down somewhere. If you're meeting your goals, wonderful. Are they too easy? raise them up. If you're not, why aren't you reaching them? And then check in with everybody. That's it. The listing challenge is super easy. It's really just a way for you to peek in at your life and see what's going on and why aren't you reaching them. I have loved this challenge so much because it has given me a way to take a step back and really look at things. It has kept me motivated. It has challenged me. It has made me look at my own routines and my own schedules and things that are going on in my life. Um, I've learned how to juggle things a little bit better. I've learned how to rearrange my own schedule and routines to better accommodate certain aspects of my life. And I've learned how to better manage my own time and find ways to juggle everything so that I can continue to meet my own goals. I kept not meeting my own goals for a couple weeks and it was because I 
didn't have enough photos. I kept finding I just didn't have enough photos. I didn't have enough time in the day to get those photos, and it was for reasons out of my control. And I tell you guys, if that keeps happening, you might want to adjust your goals, but I really didn't want to because I'm an overachiever. So I just kept figuring out ways to uh, readjust my routines and my schedule and what can I do to on this day or what can I do here or what can I do there. And I think I figured out a way to get extra photos on other days and do things throughout the week to finally juggle it all <laughs> and get it done. So yeah, I reached my goals this week. You guys know I never challenge you to do anything I don't do with you. And I'm doing the challenge right alongside of you. And it has been what I like it. It has just been, it has made me look at things in a very different way. So I'm doing it with you. This week I reached my goals. I did have to do some of them yesterday. <laughs> So here's what I'm doing. My original goal was 10 new listings a day on eBay. A minimum of 10 cross-posting to Posh a day and 5 on Macari. Um, but I was hoping to double that on some days if I had the time. 20 on Posh and 10 on Macari. Because cross-posting ain't nothing. It's so super easy, especially if you're using List Perfectly and their bulk tool. If you want to try out List Perfectly, I have a link and a code down below. You can try it for 30% um, off for your first month. So those are my goals. And I kept not reaching them. So I think I have found a way to balance stuff to where I can um, get the amount of photos I'm going to need each week to reach those goals. But I'm also not having a daily goal of listing anymore. I'm going to do what I can each day with the time that I'm given around my responsibilities and the things that are outside of my control. I need water. I want to do 50 listings a week. That's what it comes down to, right? I want to do 10 new listings a day on eBay. That comes out to 50 a week. Minimum of 50 on Poshmark. A minimum of 20 on Macari. I would like to double those on Posh and Macari if time allows it. So if I have to do, um, let's say Monday I have extra time, I'm going to do 20 on eBay. Because I may not have time on Tuesday or Wednesday. This is what I have figured out. This is what I have brainstormed. I'm not doing so well with those daily goals. I'm really not. The things that are on my schedule, everything I'm balancing on my plate, it's coming out that some days I have extra time at home and other days I have so much going on, so much crammed into my schedule, I just don't have time to do the things. I saw Christopher Walken. I just don't have the time to do the things. Um, so I'm going to have weekly goals. I'm going to have weekly goals. Yes, you need daily activity in your store, you do. You need to be listing every single day, and you need to have that daily activity to keep the algorithm happy. Hi, Cassini. Um, but thankfully for me, I'm part of a partnership, and Keith does list daily. So if you have a, a partnership and you can, somebody can pick up the slack for you, that's great. If you don't have that, um, and you have a day where you can't list or you're so super busy that you can't list at all. Hey, remember those videos I put up this week about um, ending and selling similar and refreshing your store? Um, those can help you stay active in a pinch if you have to. Also, listen to this. If you have extra time today and you know tomorrow you're going to be super strapped and busy and you're not going to have time to list, um, if your goal was... 10 a day or 50 a week or whatever, um, do 10 new listings today and then set up five or 10 drafts and leave them there. Tomorrow, when you're super duper busy and you just don't have time to list, if you're at a doctor's appointment or waiting in the pickup line to get your kids at school or in line at the supermarket, um, you waiting for your pet at the vet, I mean, there's plenty of things that keep us busy, but there's always that wait time for all of these things that we do, 
you can go into the drafts on your phone and make them live, and that counts as a brand new listing and as your listing for the day. So there you go. So that's why I'm changing mine to weekly rather than daily. And on those days I have the extra time, I'm going to do the extra stuff, but I'm going to stick them in drafts. So yes, there were absolutely days where I had time and days that I just did not. So um, I'm going to take that extra time and do more photos on those days so that I have those photos that are waiting for me on the days that I'm crunched. But I'm also going to make drafts. And I think that'll help. So if I got 10 drafts waiting for me, let's say on a day I have physical therapy or I have a doctor's appointment, you've always got that waiting time. Um, if any of you are familiar with physical therapy, they have heat time where they lay you on your heat. And you're just waiting around, chilling, relaxing. You can make your drafts go live. We always have wait time. You always wait for the doctor, the vet. You're waiting in line to pick up your kids. Um, you go to the grocery store if you get stuff from the deli. It's always busy at the deli. You pull your number and you're waiting. You gotta wait in line at the store. I mean, you gotta wait in line at the drive-thru. There's just, I feel like everywhere we go, every errand we run, every appointment we have, there's a point where you're waiting. And if you have drafts in your phone and they're completely ready to go, I'm saying you set them up. Um, ahead of time where they're completely ready to go. You have the title ready, the photos are ready, um, all the item specifics are filled out, your description box is ready to go. Everything is done. All you have to do is list it. If you have those ready to go, you can literally just go into your drafts and make them live, and that counts as listings for that day. And if you know ahead of time you're going to be busy, because we've been keeping track of this for two weeks, remember, I started asking you guys to keep track of this two weeks ago. If you weren't meeting your goals because you were too busy, you had too much going on um, as far as responsibilities and appointments and things like that. Um, we know ahead of time. We have bullet journals, right? Most of us should be. I've been telling you that for four years. Get a bullet journal. Keep track of your appointments. We know ahead of time when we're going to be busy. We know ahead of time the days that we have all the errands to run and all the appointments happening. We know ahead of time because we've listened to Star for four years. And we keep track of this stuff. We can make the drafts and we can push them live during those periods of wait that I'm talking about. This is what I'm going to do. So this is how I'm going to set myself up for success. I've been thinking about it for two weeks. I've been rearranging things for two weeks and thinking about things. So on the days where I have nothing extracurricular going on outside of the house, which is very rare, but I usually have one or two days. One. <laughs> I usually have one. At least, at the very least, one day, sometimes two if I'm lucky, that I don't have anything other than shipping going on outside of the home where I'm here. Um, those are the days I'm going to get my photos and set up extra drafts. And then um, when I'm super duper busy, I can make stuff live even if I'm not home. And I should be hitting my goals and having an easier time of it. So I want you guys to try that out too. Try that out. So we are at March 21st. We have roughly 10 days. No, we have exactly 10 days. Stark in math, guys. There's uh, 31 days in March. We have 10 days left of the month. Also, that's 10 days left of the quarter. We're not going to have a check-in video next weekend, um, which will bring us to the 28th next Sunday. We're not going to have a check-in video next weekend. I have a lot going on next weekend, so I don't th I'm not going to have time to put on a video. But we will have a check-in thread in the group. So if you're not part of the Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod, you need to be. Get your little honeys in there. It's a great group. Go join. I will do a check-in um, post thread for us all to talk to each other next weekend, but there will not be a video. So we have a week and a half left of March and first quarter. So here's your assignment for the next week and a half. Continue reaching your goals, trying your hardest to reach your goals, doing your best. Keep track of them. Um, write them down. When you don't reach them, write that down and be honest with yourself. Why didn't you reach it? 
Was it something you couldn't control or are you fiddle farting around? Are you wasting time? Try this new thing out when you have extra time. Set yourself up for success with extra drafts. Take some extra photos. And then I want you to get out a piece of paper or flip the page in your notebook or your bullet journal to the next page and start thinking ahead to April's goals. Because, yes, we're going to continue this challenge into April. Think ahead to April's goals and second quarter goals because we're going to continue this into April. We're going to do the listing challenge, but we're going to do things just a tiny small bit different in April. We're going to still continue the listing challenge and the goals and everything we've been doing, but we're going to attack on a goal that is going to be specific to second quarter. Something you wanted to do different for your business that you didn't do in Q1 of 2021 or something different from 2020 or years past. I already have mine picked out and it is going to blow your minds. When I tell you guys what Keith and I, because it's actually a partnership goal, it's an overall goal for our business and something that we are going to do together as a team for our business. It is going to blow your minds. You guys are you guys are going to literally think hell froze over and the devil's got ice skates on. But yes, we do have our goal picked out for the second quarter. Actually, it's for the rest of the year moving forward and it's going to be it's going to be different, but I think it's going to help us out in the long run. So we have ours picked out, but I want you guys to think about something you can do differently for your business overall. It doesn't just have to be for listing or eBay. Something that will help you as a person, as a business, be more organized or make more money or source better. Just something that can help you grow or on the back end be more organized because that frees up more time and when you free up more time you have more time to do the things that make you money okay so so we have about a week and a half continue doing what you're doing and keeping track of your goals and start brainstorming what your goals are going to be for april also for q2 i want some brand new mind-blowing we thought you never would do this goal. All right. So check in down below how you're doing with your March goals. And you can also check in in the Facebook group. I want to hear from you guys. I want you guys to be successful. I really do. There is plenty of room at the top. Everyone's down at the bottom. But there's a lot of room for all of us at the top to be successful. Okay. And I want you guys up here. I want you guys up here with us. There's lots of room. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Help us feed all these hippos exactly they never eat. <laughs> Until next time, guys, go work on those goals. And thank you so, so much for watching. You guys are the best. Bye.